Are you having a hard time remembering the clinical manifestations of your hypocalcemia? Mm, baby, this video is right for you because I will serve you the easiest way for you to remember the signs and symptoms of hypocalcemia. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dean Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational videos to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help and know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Video. Hi nurses, for today I will teach you how are you going to easily remember the clinical manifestation of your hypocalcemia. Now I will give you everything that you need to know, mnemonics and all of those good stuff. Now in order for me to do that I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to acting formal discussion on yung hypocalcemia clinical manifestation. Yes, this is your ultimate medical surgical nursing guide at nursing mnemonics for you to remember the clinical manifestation of your hypocalcemia. Now let's begin our discussion with our today's objectives. So we're going to have your definition of terms, the function of calcium in the body, the normal values of course, and your clinical manifestation. Handa ka na, let's begin. Definition of terms. So what is hypocalcemia, you guys? This is a condition in which there are lower than average levels of calcium in the liquid part of the blood or the plasma. Calcium has many important roles in your body. Calcium is the key to the conduction of electricity in your body. Your nervous system needs calcium to function properly. Now, what is the function of calcium in the body? Let's talk about that more. Calcium is needed for the formation of the bone and teeth. Muscle contraction, alam nyo naman yan. Normal function of many enzymes, blood clotting, and of course, normal heart rhythm. Now, we're gonna have normal values. Nurses, tandaan mo ito, madalas itong lumalabas sa exams. So, the normal calcium serum level is 8.6 to 10.3 milligrams per dl. Very straightforward. Again, calcium serum level is 8.6 to 10.3 milligrams per dl. Now, how do you say that it is what hypocalcemia if the serum level is below 8.6 yes 8.6 milligrams per dl now let's proceed ito na tayo sa ating clinical manifestation now the general sign of hypocalcemia are the following numbness tingling of fingers toes and circumoral region positive trusher sign and chovstek sign seizures hyperactive deep tendon reflex irritability and bronchospasm now handa ka na when you're trying to remember the clinical manifestation of your hypocalcemia, I want you to remember this picture. Mm -mm, si Pussy Cat Doll. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna introduce you to the cats of hypocalcemia. Now, tandaan mo tong mnemonics na to. Cats. Diyan magmumula ang ating clinical manifestation. What you have there? Convulsions. Hypocalcemia induced seizures in particular have attracted much clinical attention. These seizures likely occur in patients with predisposing endocrinological abnormalities or renal insufficiencies with overall poor calcium homeostasis. The resultant hypocalcemia result in increased neural excitability due to reduced extracellular concentration of calcium rather than depleted intracellular levels and both generalized tonic-clonic or focal motor seizures can occur with hypocalcemia. Next, you have your arrhythmias, arrhythmias, cats, ka, 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 arrhythmias. Paano nagkakaroon ng arrhythmia sa hypocalcemia? This can result in both ST segment modification and QT interval prolongation and when severe can predispose to life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias. Acute hypocalcemia can result in 
and severe symptoms that require rapid admission to hospital and prompt correction. Yung mga arrhythmias natin, may mga iba kasi tayo mga arrhythmias na talaga namang life-threatening. So, preventricular tachycardia unstable, that's one. Next, your T. You have your tetany. Ano yung dapat mong tandaan when it, we're talking about the concept of tetany sa hypocalcemia? Itong Chaucer sign and Chovstek sign. Yes, also sa next slide, pag-aaralan natin yan. Okay. Ano nga ba ang ating Chaucer sign? Madali lang to. Nakikita mo tong picture na to. Itong ito rin yun. Now, Chaucer sign is carpal pedal spasm caused by inflating the blood pressure cuff to a level above systolic pressure for 3 minutes, such as this picture. Okay? Now, nurses, how are you gonna do this? You can test for the Chaucer sign by placing a blood pressure cuff on the patient's arm and inflating 2 20 millimeters of mercury above systolic blood pressure for 3 to 5 minutes. Now, what is the response that you're looking for? This carpopedal spasm characterized by adduction of the thumb, flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joints, extension of the interphalangeal joints, and flexion of the wrist, such as this one. So, madali lang yan, nurses. Tagalogin natin para mas maintindihan. Ang instrument na gamit mo dito ay ang inyong blood pressure cuff, or yung BP apparatus. Then, you're gonna inflate to 20 millimeters above, millimeters of mercury above the systolic blood pressure. You're gonna let it stay there for 3 to 5 minutes, meaning you don't get to release the pressure. Now, what you're gonna do is to observe for the carpopedal spasm. Kapag na ganito ang itsura ng, yung, ng kamay ng yung pasyente kung saan mo nilagay yung blood pressure cuff, that is positive to Chaucer sign. How about Chovstek sign? Nakikita mo tong picture na to? Mm -mm. So, Chovstek sign, wag malilito ha, at Chaucer sign are all signs of hypocalcemia. Now, Chovstek sign is the contraction of the ipsilateral facial muscles elicited by tapping the facial nerve just anterior to the ear. Ito nga po, oh, yung malapit sa tenga, anterior sa ear. Anong response ang hinahanap mo para makita, masabi mong positive Chovstek sign ng yung pasyente? Twitching of the lip to spasm of all facial muscle. Kung saan mo inapply yung stimuli, doon magkakaroon ng muscle twitching. Hindi sa kabila, kundi kung saan mo nilagay, kung saan part mo nilagay yung stimuli. Okay? So, that is Chovsek sign and your Chaucer sign. Oh, pagpatuloy natin to, mayroon pa tayo nawawalang isa, ba Ano to? Strider and spasm. Although strider is a common respiratory symptom associated with upper respiratory diseases, yet its relation with hypocalcemia is not widely appreciated. The mechanism of hypocalcemia in causing strider might be a collapsing of larynx most likely caused by decalcification due to hypocalcemia. Strider sound po meaning may, may laringo spasa meaning nagko-constrict yung ating mga lung tubes due to hypocalcemia. Tapos na tayo you guys. Ang bilis lang ba? Once again, thank you so much for watching this one. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Yes, and if you haven't watched the other nursing mnemonics um, videos I created, I actually created tons of nursing um, content so if you want you might want to check that out ipamalita mo na sa radyong sira ang about sa channel ko kasi ito nga ang pinakabago at pinakalibre <laughs> review center sa balat ng YouTube I'll see you again baby thank you so much you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one help me grow my channel you are already here you might as well subscribe hashtag team cool talk give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys think put them down in the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you I'll be putting the links on the description box so simply click the second button right here let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at Neil Gavi I'll see you again